All right, it came in. My Jetstream JTPS 45, 45 amp power supply. So let's get that unboxed and see what it looks like. Showing us at 13 volts, 13.8 or so. No amps. Let's see what happens when I key this. Hardly drawing any amps right now. It looks like uh, probably about two, one, one something. Let's see what we hear. We hear nothing. Let's see what we can do here. Let's uh, see if we're even in tune. I've got my this getting my 40 meter down to where it's somewhat obtainable and then this I use the tuner in here just to uh, get back and forth without having to tune directly for that area I think I'm pretty close to it anyway so this just verified now let's see let's go out here and this was the biggie I wasn't able to pump out 100 watts before so let's try it Kilo Echo Zero Lima Charlie Sierra and I'm only doing 10 watts why am I only doing 10 watts? Oh, that's because I had turned this down. I had turned it down because the other battery couldn't keep up. So I was trying to just get the radio to be usable. All right, here we go. But when it was 100 watts before I bust, I keyed about 50 watts. Kilo Echo Zero Lima Charlie Sierra. Still only 50 watts, uh, only 10 watts. Here we go. Third time's a charm. Kilo Echo Zero Lima Charlie Sierra. Yep, it did it. 100 watts. Finally, I'm finally transmitting at 100 watts. Kilo Echo Zero Lima Charlie Sierra calling CQ. Kilo Echo Zero Lima Charlie Sierra CQ CQ. All right. So now, let's just try it here. See what the amps are. CQ, 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 Kilo Echo Zero, Lima, Charlie, Sierra, calling CQ. So it's just about under 20 amps at 100 watts. So this is not really going to be a review, a thorough review of this uh, as I just received it. This is just my initial thoughts and opinions um, based on having it for five minutes. Um, so why did I go with this particular uh, power supply? Well, I was looking at reviews for all of them. The, uh, some of them are pretty popular brands that a lot of people swear by. And I think the problem is you've got competition or haters or whatever. You can't, you can't go by the reviews. You'll see 20 good reviews for this particular power supply and 20 bad. You'll see like a power supply that should be rated like the best on the market. You'll see 20 reviews positive and 20 reviews negative. Um, you can't tell what's the truth with the reviews. Um, this particular one I got on Gigaparts for $139. So I just figured I'll give it a shot and see how it does. Uh, I know this particular 100 amp radio, 100 watt radio only draws about maybe 17 amps. Um, this is a 45 amp power supply so it's not like I should be causing a lot of load. I'm going to go through and turn off all my noise canceling stuff and I'm going to go through and see if I hear any odd noises on this thing um, but it's probably too soon to tell necessarily. Now I'm 40 meter. Not hearing anything alarming. 120 um, 20 meter. Oh, 
So initially, I'm not hearing any noise. Uh, that was never a report on the reviews for this particular um, power supply. No one was reporting having that kind of issue of it generating noise. This is a solid state power supply. Uh, everybody said it was a clean sounding, uh, it, was, it was clean as far as that was concerned. I'm not hearing anything. The biggest thing was people were saying it didn't last, the lights went out, or the meter wasn't accurate, or anything like that. The meter seems to be fairly accurate based on what I know this radio should be pulling at 100 watts. Um, I mean, it is not an LED meter, so accuracy is, of course, going to be limited. Um, but it's not, not a digital meter, I mean. So, uh, so what's, uh, what am I take on it? It seemed fairly solid as far as the build. All the screws were intact. It doesn't, I didn't hear anything rattling in it. You know, it's not like the screen is sloppily put in. It's, it's got good labeling. These are uh, nice and how they should feel. Um, this is a voltage thing here. Let's see. It has a center point. So you can actually feel the center point right there. But this is giving it, uh, I don't know how to read it on this radio. Let me turn this up a little. And then I'll just power cycle the radio because that'll tell me. Yeah, now it's at 14 volts. So that upped it a little. When I put it, you can feel the little notch there. And when I put the notch there, that put the radio at 13.8 volts, which the radio was showing 100, 100 watts output. So, uh, I mean, that should be fine. Like I say, you can feel it has a little, it has a little slot right there. You can feel it grab. So everything else is just open. Uh, go all the way up. Looks like 14.3 volts. Uh, let me go about 75 degrees here. Let's do it again. I'm sure there's a way to actually see this on the screen without having to power cycle it each time. 14.2. So even all the way up, it only seems to be like 14.3. This little thing says it goes up to 15. I'm not necessarily seeing that. I'm only seeing about 14.3. But the center spot is 13.8. At least with this particular radio, that's what it's showing it as. You have a 7 amp cigarette lighter. Um, keep in mind, you do not want to put something in here that's going to draw more than 7 amps. Uh, that would not be good. So, um, and then you have the uh, two, these little, these little guys here, and these are also 7 amp. So you can do 7 amp, 7 amp, and this can do 45 amp. So 45 amp on this. I don't like this, um, the little holes that you put this in. So I'm gonna have to get the little banana clip things, whatever they're called, the banana plugs, and go in there. The holes that are in this are really, really tiny. So you can't just run it through that way. Um, I, it's, it's not gonna work. So to really do this right, I need to get the banana things. This is working for now, but that's not really that, that could easily be pushed in, touching the case. That could touch the case. I'd have a mess. So that's unacceptable. Uh, so just keep that in mind. You're probably going to want to get the little banana jack ends and put on your thing to just do it right. Um, other than that, like I say, this is my initial review. Uh, it's, it's working good with the radio. I don't hear any initial noise added by it. Uh, you know, just keep watching my channel as, as, as I have pitfalls or whatever. If I, if I have any issues with this thing or if it's still working good for me, I'll just continue to report back as time goes on. But uh, this was, I got this off Gigaparts, uh, $139 free shipping. And it got here like in three days uh, with free shipping. Again, like I say, that's not really a review because I've only had it for now 15 minutes. And, uh, but at least that's an unboxing, give you an idea of what to expect. It does seem to be pretty decent build quality. We're going to see how well it holds up. It does seem to be doing the job. I can actually transmit it 100 watts. All right, they heard me. Um, they were actually able to hear me once I got this, uh, enough power to my radio that I could hunt on 100 watts. I'm running an AT120 old manual tuner. And I'm using that can get it kind of close. It's like three to one, right? Right on 2.9 to one, or 2.9 SWR, I mean. And uh, the uh, uh, then I use the tuner, the FC50 tuner that can only do a three to one, a three to one ratio for the S. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I tuned the tuner, 
and uh, I made a call on uh, uh, 3916, and he heard me. And so he said he, he heard me really well. He gave me a 5-8, if I recall correctly. So, uh, yeah, it's uh, my first call on 80 meters. Right here, I got everything tuned uh, to get rid of the noise as much as possible. I'm also using the contour uh, tool on the radio to kind of clean up things a little better. Now, there's some guy that's got a screwed up microphone. James Gordon in Missouri, he is. So it's only 217 miles. So I don't know how many other people will hear me, but the point is, he heard me. This is the first chance I've had to get on 80 meters. I'm running, like I said, also it's this is on an inverted V on the top of my roof at 40 meters. So that means a, a, a nicer auto tuner, even though this isn't greatly efficient with 100 watts, I'm at least getting out on 80 meters. And I can hear people. Um, and this is really bad conditions. Uh, this is normally, there's a net right now, but a lot of people bailed out because they couldn't hear each other. So this is exciting. First time on 80 meters. Hello, hello, K0LCS. This is John here in Newton, Iowa. I hope you all can hear me pretty good. This is my first time on 80 meters. Uh, I've been listening to you guys off and on. I've been dealing with noise issues on all the other bands. I'm a very noisy QTH here. And uh, so I got desperate. I pulled an old scrap tuner I picked up at a ham fest. And I'm running that through another tuner so I can get my 40 meter tuned down to 80. And uh, bought me a bigger power supply so I could actually run 100 watts out this radio. And so I'm actually able to finally talk and somebody actually heard me. I don't know how many of you can actually hear me, but it'd be cool to know. Uh, anyway, back to you. Great to be able to talk uh, and uh, looking forward to spring. Uh, back to you. All right, sir. Uh, uh, what did you say your name was? John. John from Iowa. Okay, John. Uh, well, then, uh, uh, yeah, you planned it on the free we just said here, here, sir. And uh, uh, you can find more all about our next on www.3916.net. All right, I'm still learning all those those uh, things like QSL and all that. Uh, so I, if I don't use the right lingo exactly, please bear with me. But yeah, I got it, Roger. A few were responding. I don't know if it was ones that actually could just hear me or if they were just saying hi because he said to say hi. But still kind of exciting. Um, I'm going to put my headphones on so I can hear them better. Uh, again, the headphones, obviously, uh, it's uh, one I talked about them in another review. Uh, uh, I actually do like them. Um, it's, it's nice because I can tune out this heater back here. I think it was a good investment for 89 bucks. I probably will go ahead and get a nicer tuner. Um, I'll probably use this one for a while because obviously this idea is working. Um, but uh, uh, I don't think I'll be able to tune down to 160 uh, doing this method. But this doesn't just get me on 80. Again, if I'm getting down to 160, it, it may not work because at 100 watts, I may not have a little lot left. I may do some whisper later uh, to see how far this antenna will reach out. But for right now, I'm going to just enjoy the freewheeler net, listen in what's going on there. And uh, 73, so it works. You can use a tuner to a tuner if you don't have enough, uh, if you can only get it down to like a 3 to 1, uh, and then tune it again. Um, there you go. Uh, at least that guy's hearing me for sure. He's, uh, like I said, he's uh, 257 miles out, so he's not real far. But, um, but he's hearing me. Uh, he was hearing me pretty strong. So um, it's still kind of exciting. Um, anyway, 73, K0 LCS. So this is just a follow-up. Turn it down a little. Um, basically, I went from not really being able to use my radio for a few months ago, up till, I mean, up till just recently. Um, I bought myself the Mag Loop Receive, the K, uh, 
the W6 LVP back loop receive antenna, that helped a little. Um, in some situations it actually helps a lot, but it depends on where I need to rotate it. And I'm running on an RCA rotator. I've got the, I added the noise canceling device, the MFJ1026. And uh, I've tweaked it a little bit as I'm listening. I rotate the antenna to get the best results. And then I phase the noise out for this to get a little further. Um, then I'm using an 891 radio. I'm not fond of this radio. I, I'm not very happy with it. Uh, that'll be another review. Uh, but I'm using it with this tuner here, which can do a 10 to 1. Uh, 300 ohms it says it can tune 300 ohms which actually isn't 10 to 1 but it says 10 to 1 so I'm a little confused about that so I've got it going through this tuner to get the 40 meter close to about 2.5 to 2 to 2.8 SWR and then I use this tuner to tune it down the rest of the way so it's good for my radio so I don't hurt my radio but I wasn't able to run hundred watts because I was running off a battery and it would run down too quick I bought this right here and that just came in today 45 watt uh, 45 amp uh, power supply so I can run off power it seems to be pretty clean not causing a lot of noise uh, not no, no noise that I can tell so it seems good and then that allowed me to pump 100 watts and so he's able to hear me pretty clear on 3916 he's 250 some miles away um, and then I'm wearing so that I can hear everybody a little clearer, a little easier. Get help cup. I got this pair of headphones here, specifically for uh, communication headphones. Uh, 150 to 4,000 hertz. Um, mono, 8 ohm. Uh, it's closed, closed to ear. Uh, seems to help a lot, uh, just because it cuts out the background noise in the room, stuff like that. Then the other thing I was noticing, and this may not be the right way, but one other thing I've noticed is while I'm listening to this, and I'm not going to bother to let you hear it because you're not going to hear it through the speakers anyway. You're not really going to be able to tell. But uh, I am. I turn the uh, width down to about 2100 hertz for the width so it filters it. Uh, I don't don't shift it either way but that just helps get rid of some of the excess that I don't need and I use the contour right here and depending on who's talking and the frequency of their type of voice I can hone in on them and increase just their voice you know and I just use this while I'm listening and this is really helping me to tune in for whoever's talking at the moment so that's what I found. This is working really uh, well to use while listening. Um, and then of course I turn my RF gain down as much as I can to help keep the uh, uh, radio from overloading. Um, but that's where I'm at. Uh, I've been able to hear the freewheeler net all night with no issue. Bands are not great right now. Um, so just by using these adjustments and like I say at one point it got really the noise changed and so then I uh, bypassed all this just got my mag loop receive tuned the best it could get and then I brought my uh, transmit antenna in and I phased out the noise um, and so like I say and then I've been just using this to fine tune depending on who's talking uh, to bring out their voice a little better and that seems to be working really well. Um, so there you go.